Hello, this is Greg Witt with Alpen Wild. Hiking the Haute Route from Chamonix to Zermatt in the Alps is a spectacular mountain trek, and you probably have some questions on route planning and navigation where I can help. So today we're going to tackle the most common questions that people have about route finding and navigation on the Haute Route. Is route finding difficult on the Haute Route? What route markings and signposts will you find? What planning is required? And what resources do I recommend? Most of the paths on the Haute Route have been in use for centuries by farmers and traders. Many of the passes you'll cross on the Haute Route have been used since medieval times. So, in general, the traveling is well marked and widely used trails and navigation shouldn't be a major concern if you plan your route carefully and pay attention along the way. Because the valleys are aligned north and south, I find that navigation is pretty intuitive on the Haute Route. Still, if you're going on a self-guided basis, you should take a compass and maps and know how to use them before you arrive in the Alps. Be aware that there are some stretches of difficult uh, terrain between the Col de la Vie and the Col de Profiterie and, and approaching the Reed Mountain Pass. These are, these are rocky areas with almost no signposting and in bad weather or in poor visibility you could find yourself in trouble very quickly. On the Holt route, you'll find two types of way marking. The first is a, a set of red and white flashes that are painted on rocks along the way. You'll see hundreds, perhaps thousands of these along the route. They're easily visible, and they do a good job of keeping you on the trail. The second are yellow metal signposts that have the names of major landmarks, such as a pass, a hut, or a lake. They also give an estimated time to the destination, and I found these to be uh, these times to be quite accurate for two hikers moving along at a steady pace. If you're hiking on the Haute Route on a self-guided basis, planning is essential. Each evening, plan out the next day's routes carefully, and with a map in one hand and a guidebook in the other. Read through the route descriptions, mark the routes on the maps, make note of any difficult sections or any critical junctions, and then determine your timing, when you need to leave, when you expect to cross the pass or arrive at the next hut or village, check the weather forecast, and then talk with other hikers in the hut or on the trail. In your planning, review not only the route that you plan on taking, but know the escape routes and the alternates as well. I think it's essential for anyone hiking the Haute Route on a self-guided basis to know the options at any point along the trail. For example, if the storm strikes while you're ascending the Col de la Vie, you have several escape routes. You could return to Montfort, you could uh, descend down to the Fionnet, you could cross the pass hoping conditions improve, and if not, then descend to Lac de Clusson. Any one of those could be reasonable options depending on the time of the day and the severity of the conditions, but, uh, or, and also your capabilities. But don't expect some other hiker on the Holt Route to, to rescue you or bail you out. Many sections of the Holt Route are surprisingly remote, and you could go hours without seeing anybody else on the trail. Now for the resources that I recommend. The only guidebook I recommend is Chamonix de Zermatt, The Walker's Holt Route by Kev Reynolds from Cicerone, Cicerone Press. Be sure to get the 2007 4th edition, which is in full color. Uh, this is the book that we recommend to our self-guided clients. It's a compact size. It has a durable plastic cover, so it's easy to carry and easy to pull out when you need it. It's also the best publication out there on the Hope Route, and it's considered the standard. Buy it before you leave because you're not going to find it on the trail. Now, the maps that are produced by Switzerland's Federal Topographic Office are some of the finest in the world. Each one is a work of art, and they're essential in hiking the Haute Route. If you really love maps and navigation, then get the most detailed maps, which are the 1 to 25,000 Landis Carter der Schweiz series. It'll take 11 maps to cover the entire Haute Route. Otherwise, you can go with the less detailed 1 to 50,000 series, which covers the route, the entire route, in just two maps. Your choice. I have all of those maps and guidebooks on the website. And, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. This is Greg Witt with Alpenwild. See you on the trail.